have a call. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, next, we'll go to the update on TRS operations. Kavita, come on. TRS emailed eligible members of UFT, CSA, and PSC and provided them the opportunity to increase their TDA contribution rate ahead of the retroactive payments made under their union contracts. The retroactive payments gave members a rare chance to make a large one-time deposit into their TDA account. Overall, nearly 12,000 members, or 10% of the participants, increased their TDA contribution rate ahead of the retroactive payments made under their union contract. TRS member education team has kicked off its outreach efforts for 2020. First, they have scheduled 15 pre-retirement programs for the spring, and during February, over 200 members have already attended an in-house program. Also, on February 8th, the member education team represented TRS at the annual convention of the Elementary School Principals Association. Outreach for the March includes events with the Middle School Principals Association, CUNY staff, and campuses, and the annual UFT Paraprofessional Festival on March 16th. Thank you. Thank you. Could you be able to send that to sure. us electronically? Absolutely. Okay, great. Next, we have a report from the actuary, Ms. Sherry Chan. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, there is two fiscal notes, and believe it or not, the legislative session uh, is uh, underway, and they moved up the legislative session to accommodate the primaries. So the uh, fiscal notes have been pulled through. So there's two that pertain to TRS that were issued uh, since the uh, legislative session. Uh, first one has to do with the basket clause that
calendar. Uh, this is the approval of the first item is the approval of the following minutes. They are the minutes of the January 6th investment meeting, the January 29th common investment meeting, and the January 30th board meeting minutes. Is there a motion to approve the minutes? So moved. Thank you. Is there a second? Okay. Any discussion regarding the minutes? All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Okay. Motion carries. All right. Is there any other business that anyone would like to bring? We have the uh, yes. items on the calendar. If then someone wanted to waive the reading of the calendar, I'm sure that would be appreciated. Please <laughs> <laughs> waive the reading of the calendar. <laughs> Do you want a motion to right, adopt yep. the calendar? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, do we have a motion to adopt the calendar? Uh, motion. Thank you. Do second. we have a second? Second. <laughs> Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, it's adopted. What else do we have? All right, now we're up to other business. Any other business? Questions or comments from the public? Seeing none, do we have a motion to go into executive session? I move pursuant to public officer's law section 105 to go into executive session for discussions regarding specific contract matters. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, we're in executive session. Welcome back. We are in public session. <laughs> Is there anything else? Okay, great. Motion to adjourn. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. In um, executive session, an investment, man uh, an investment matter was discussed. Consensus was reached, which will be announced at the appropriate time. Thank you, Ms. Stanley. Okay. Now, is there anything else? <laughs> okay. Do you have a motion to adjourn? No, so I And now I can say second. Thank you so much. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Any opposed? We are adjourned.